Hello everyone. Um, my name is Armin. I'm coming from the University of Applied Sciences St. Pölten. If you ever ask where St. Pölten is, please follow the uh, blue triangle. Uh, my team, consisting out of mine and George Slepcevich, which uh, we both uh, participated in the social uh, media task uh, under the supervision of our supervisors Matthias Seppeltauer and Markus Seidel. And uh, Markus uh, also participated in uh, the satellite image task. That's why I'm starting with our first approach um, in the uh, satellite image uh, task. Uh, we used a basic approach like extracting the patches out of the uh, provided data, uh, uh, concatenated it into one histogram and trained the uh, SVM <laughs> with it. This was mainly our first run, just to get uh, into more details. Our second run consisted out of two separately trained SVMs on each histogram. Um, our results will be shown in some uh, of the next foils. The third run was also um, extracting all uh, the histograms of each patch and uh, uh <coughs> and trained only in one SVM, so we can see if these uh, different methods uh, um, results in uh, different um, results. So as you can see, our first three runs: concatenation, separation, and joining of the features of the histogram features uh, uh, resulted in different um, in different scores like for example the first one uh, was really well uh, performed like with 70 uh, 57 percent and our run four and five with majority voting and animus voting was also around uh, these so the uh, results were pretty similar except for the third uh, run so uh, Going to the social image task, uh, we had a look at the data and we found that the data is a little bit unbalanced. So uh, we tried to make a very basic approach and uh, we reduced the data set, split it in 80-20 um, in the test set and um, test set. And we tried to do some data augmentation to improve our uh, training. So at first, we extracted out of the provided images, we, prov uh, we extracted patches out of the middle of the image, and then we tried to also um, um, uh, do some more data uh, pre-processing, like fl uh, turning it 90 degrees to the right or left, and uh, flipping or mirroring it to improve our, um, our uh, set of uh, training images. So that was the first approach. The second approach, we tried to improve our um, results by using uh, the Clarif Clarify API, which is more is com is uh, also mentioned in the last uh, medieval benchmark, which is a very nice tool where you can put uh, a data like such as images into this uh, Clarify um, API. You can uh, have a demo here under this hyperlink, and the result will be um, some um, tags like, for example. Uh, illustration graphics with a probability. These we are, we are using as an uh, input for our um, approach on the different runs to improve these results. The next thing we tried was, like we uh, like already mentioned uh, before, we used the Twitter tweets with uh, text preprocessing, removing stop words and so on, and Google API to translate our uh, Spanish uh, tweets into English, and then we tried uh, to use a TF-ADF approach uh, and uh, SVM, which we trained on. <coughs> so in general, as you can see here, we submitted four out of five runs. The first run, a normal ResNet, pre-trained on the ImageNet, and then retrains the whole uh, only retrained the uh, added top layers and softmax layer, and then retrained the whole ResNet for these epochs. The first run, uh, five epochs, and the third, uh, fourth, and uh, fifth run, uh, three, respectively, six epochs. These are our results on the training. Um, um, looking at the F1 score, these are not so very good, the accuracy is very fine. Um, and on the test set, you have uh, our results uh, on the right side. So, as you can see, our results are not as good as uh, pr uh, the our pre uh, previously uh, pr uh, previous uh, presentation, but we, we, th we thought of taking only the basic approaches, like taking ResNet, for example, 
putting into the data. We didn't make a two-step approach, as already mentioned. This will be our uh, future work. And try to classify this just on the base uh, on the balanced data set. So what we have learned, uh, we learned a lot of lessons because it's one of my first uh, tasks in the field of neural research. Uh, we have our pipelines, we have our data pre-processing pipelines, our data augmentations, like we. Uh, we created our flipping and mirroring by ourselves. We don't use any library. We really went back to the basics. Um, we tr we uh, tested different networks such as the ResNet, with, uh, InceptionNet, and so on. But we want uh, to uh, stuck to the ResNet 50. And for now, we, we, we saw that our work is pretty fine. As we have a pretty fine baseline, but we can improve, of course, as previously uh, uh, mentioned uh, presentations al already said. And, of course, uh, the accuracy doesn't tell you if your performance well, so don't trust yourself to the metric says you are fine. So it al look, uh, always looks on your F1 scores. And so uh, I see I'm running out of more or less out, most, uh, out of my time for this presentation, so I just want to say thank you for participate uh, for the chance to participate in this benchmark and i want to say thank you and i'm looking forward for the next competition thank you very much